Looks like I've lost them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. Just an ordinary cop. Just holding. Show me right now. Now do what I say and empty your pockets. Is this some kind of toy gun? I'm taking you in for further questioning. Ugh. Damn it. Freeze! Looks like I managed to lose that cop. All that running, and I end up back here. Morimura's death hasn't been made public yet. Those black suits must have disposed of the body. Okay. Let's say I did kill her. At that point, they were already coming after me. Did I lure Morimura out here? It just doesn't add up. I managed to find some good clues here before, but I'm still not sure what some of them mean. This key I had on me, it has some kind of emblem on it. Was I driving a car? Oh, the emblem appears to be a button. Well, I pressed it. No nearby car made a sound though. Maybe it's somewhere further away. These numbers are for the message service. One set is the user number, and the other is the password. Huh? How in the world did this motorcycle get here? Did it come when I pressed the button on the key? Voice authentication verified. A key is required to unlock this vehicle. It's voice activated, too? Is this... A self-driving motorcycle? Vehicle unlocked. You may issue commands using your voice. Please set your next destination. Hey, who do you belong to? Registered drivers of the Shikishima SXRNR. A. Sekigahara and Chihiro Morimura. Me... and Morimura? It looks like I've used this motorcycle before. Then it must know where I've taken it. I'm guessing you have a travel log, right? Can you pull it up? Displaying travel log. <sighs> looks like I've taken this thing all around the city. But there are only two places I've visited multiple times. Aside from Sakura High, it's just this one other spot. Set this location as your destination? Yes. Let's hit the road. Hey. Did I... leave anything with you? Invalid request. Please specify. I want to know if I left behind any messages. Two logs found from A. Sekigahara. Seriously? Begin playback? Yeah. 
Show me. So, did you find it? My... Well, your intuition was right. I'm leaving this message as a precaution. Just in case I lose my memory sooner than I expect. You've still got work to do if you want to escape this world. You must acquire the data logs from 2188. One more thing. And this takes priority over all else. You can't let Chihiro Morimura execute Operation Aegis. She holds a position as a nurse at Sakura High School. But it's all under false pretenses. Stop her at all costs. Saka was able to use the gate. I checked the log she left behind. The ID she used was Morimura's biometric ID. Iori Fuyusaka is Chihiro Morimura. Knowing this, do I still try to stop Operation Aegis? That's the real question. Well, the answer's obvious, isn't it? Fuyusaka is Morimura? How is that possible? And what did I decide to do? Destination reached. Ending navigation. So this is the place. Now what am I gonna find here? Locked. This factory has to be what I'm here for. from the underground the andrew these numbers are for the message service one set is the user number and the other not she she said and what she is if that the map they found the or it's an outdated transceive minute Here, Sekigahara. Here to cause some more trouble? <sighs> Something wrong? No, nothing. Uh, let me guess. You finally lost your memories, right? Uh, how... How did you know? Just by the way you're acting. Kind of a dead giveaway. I'm surprised you even made it back here. Do you know... What I was trying to do here? That's odd. Okino. You're in my way. And you are? Hmm. <sighs> it didn't work. I suppose 32% wasn't enough. You recognize me, don't you? No. I don't. That can't be. <gasps> Focus. Hey, Okino. Take a good look at my face. I know you can remember. Wait! This can't be. Hill, 
pills the android gave me in the underground facility in 2104. They slow the effects of DD-426. A third generation model. Sentinel number 19. So this is where it was transmitted. Is this a hangar for Sentinels? Awfully persistent, aren't you? Fine. You got me. I know it's you, Okino. Even in this outfit, you managed to catch me. Have you been in hiding ever since the incident? Just laying low in Sector 5? I need to stop the effects of DD-426. You're an expert on the subject, aren't you? I am indeed. It's a code that was distributed on the battlefield. Do you know who's responsible for spreading it? Uh, no. Right. This is exactly why I went into hiding. Because I can't trust anyone. And that includes you. A Sekigahara. You were on the battlefield too. Yet you're not showing any symptoms. I could say the same about you. I'm taking pills to help reduce the symptoms. Pills? These. I see. These serve as additional code for priority processing. These aren't going to save me. Of course they won't. All you're doing is buying yourself some time. What about you? You're completely healthy. There must be some way to stop it, right? I'm afraid that's impossible. It was about a year ago. I discovered a code created by 426. The aptly named DD-426. I tested it on myself in an attempt to detach the decode, which resulted in the loss of my memories. That's why I was unaffected on the battlefield. That can't be true. You don't seem like you've lost your memories at all. That's because I transferred my memories to my nanomachines, and I was able to create a simulated personality. It carries all the qualities that make up my identity. Let me get this straight. You're a program that's simulating Okino? Initially, yes. But now that I've been affixed to the brain, I've become the true Tsukasa Okino. I possess the original Okino's personality and memories. You can't even tell the difference. But you're still not the same. The Okino from before was different. Human beings are constantly evolving. Whether we retain our memories or not, we're never the same as our past selves. My goodness. Your pursuit of me caused quite the panic. Professor Doji wants to have me restrained. And now that you've caught me, maybe it's time I gave up. Oh, perfect timing. Huh? Hijiyama-kun! Over here! Help! Huh? Kiriko-san! What's going on? Th that man! Hey! Who the hell are you? How'd you get in here? Please, make him go away. Hold it, Okino! Not so fast, you bastard! You're coming with me! This is highly classified material, and you've seen too much. Damn you, Okino. Okino. Remember now? Tsukasa Okino. We met in Sector 5. Good. And you're an AI construct. 
Huh? Is that all? You've neglected to remember some rather important details. Let's try this again. Okino, do you really have to stand so close to him? Don't pay him any mind. He's just jealous. <laughs> yeah, right. Now concentrate, A. Sekigahara. Try to remember why you kept coming back here. How are you feeling? My head feels like it's about to split in half. What about the pills? They aren't working. But you've taken so many of them already. They still aren't helping? We're ready to go. Oh. There was one thing I wanted to ask you. You seemed very reluctant to go through with this at first. But now you've come to rely on this plan. So what changed your mind? Nothing changed. I still think this is terrible. But there are some things I don't want to forget. Like that vile face of yours. I'll be sure to preserve that memory for you. Walk me through the steps once more. Sure. First, I'll input a memory extraction code into you. Your memories can be saved at any time. Your consciousness itself, though, can't be saved. Then, a simulated personality will... All I need is for you to save my memories. I don't want some AI taking over me. A simulated personality will think the same way you do. It'll be able to work together with your own brain. In other words, it will act as a support to your brain. The relationship is symbiotic. It'll teach your brain new ways to think and solve problems. But you will still be in charge of decision-making. I just... I hate myself. I really don't need a simulated personality. <laughs> All right. In that case, I'll simply extract your memories. After your memories are extracted, they'll be stored in your nanomachines. I'll configure it so when the decode region is detached, your memories will be backed up. We'll require an intracerebral map to save your memories, though it'll all be pointless if you end up as a husk. Your brain did have more damage than anticipated. My equipment can only do so much. I'll only be able to map roughly 30% of the region per scan. So you'll have to make multiple trips. Let's get started, shall we? Please, take a seat. I'm going to create your intracerebral map. We'll start with some word exercises. Try listing any words starting with A that come to mind. As you say each word, imagine the object in your head. A. Apple. Asphalt. Anchor. Anchor.